it's hot as heck outside, so what do you think you should knit? Hats! I know that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but stick with me and I'll explain why and show you five great options. Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. Make sure to check in the description notes below the video uh, for all of my online shenanigans and to see links to anything that I talk about in this video. Today we have for you a fave five. Now what fave fives are is when I pick a theme and then go and I browse patterns and pick out the five that grab my attention like right at this very moment that I'm like if I was gonna cast on right now these would definitely be my top five to pick right now I'm not saying that these are the best of all time I am not trying to make any claims to their being you know this is not the Guinness Book of World Records this is just what is intriguing me at the time that I want to share with you and it is hot. It is so hot. We're talking August. It's 2022 and it is hot. And I was talking with, I was actually chatting with one of the viewers in the comments um, and her name's Wheel Trish. And she was like, hats. And I was like, hats. And she was like, just bear with me. It's not that you're knitting them because you want to wear them right now, but it's something incredibly small. And it's something that's not gonna take up room in your lap. It's something you can get done. It's kind of instant gratification, but you're not being covered up by like a sweater's worth of yarn or a blanket's worth of yarn. And I'm like, that makes total sense. You know, it makes total sense. So hats, hats is the theme this month. And I wanted to restrict myself. I started looking at hats and not only are these hats, these are hats that were designed this year. These are hats from 2022. They are brand new hats because I like to try to find patterns that y'all might not have seen from designers you might not be familiar with. So I'm pretty excited about this particular theme. So let us go to my split screen type situation with my first one. I have the information on these patterns fold up on the screen in front of me. So you will see me looking down just so I can make sure to get the information right. I am starting with the thinnest yarn and we're going to move towards heavier yarn as the patterns change. And you will see why I like these. This is the short stack hat from Lisa K. Ross of Paper Daisy Creations. And I just, we have this shot here that I picked out so you can see the crown. I am obsessed with crowns on hats. It's just my thing. I think they look really cool. It's the designer in me, but also I like the visual. And I assume since I'm a short person, that the crown of the hat is what a lot of people are gonna see. So this one has a particularly lovely hat in a very, very simple way. So what this is, is this is designed in light fingering, fingering weight yarn, and it's designed to use mini skeins and scraps and things like that, which I think is super fun. And what she is calling for here is, so the hat has three sizes, adult, small, medium, and large, and it has 7.25 inch, 19 inch, and 20.5 inch circumferences designed to be worn with a two to three inch negative ease. And what negative ease means is that the circumference or the size of the thing that you're knitting is going to be smaller than the body part you are putting it on and your body part will stretch it out and that's how it stays on your head. So that is great. She used Leading Men Fiber Art Showstopper in minis. And so what she's saying is you choose different mini colors. She has two mini skeins of the main color, which I believe is kind of this burgundy color. I think you could probably even get away with having two different main colors. And then she has contrast color one through four, and she has a mini skein in each of those four colors. So we have a total of like five colors. And she also says it's or 120 yards of fingering weight in 
um, the main color and 40 yards in each of the smaller colors. So you can get away with scraps. I just, I thought it was a lot of fun. It starts with a twisted ribbing and then you get stockinette of the color and then she's broken up the colors with the twisting twisted ribbing and it's funny because she calls it a rumble strip which i think is funny and then she has the twisted ribbing in the crown which would make the crown looks really nice so i think this looks like a fast fun project with a little bit of interest and a way to play with a lot of colors and you know what i'm pretty sure you could get away with doing it in just two colors if you wanted to whatever makes you happy so that is the short stack hat also made me think of pancakes and who doesn't like thinking about pancakes okay next we have this is the Fresh is the Feeling hat from Fatima Hines. That was a lot of Fs for me to get through. And so this one is also in designed in fingering weight, but it's fingering weight held two at a time, held double, which makes a DK weight yarn. So you could definitely do this in the fingering weight held double, but also you could use a DK weight yarn so it's flexible like that and a beautiful cables look at these gorgeous cables but the cables are integrated beautifully into the ribbing and ribbing in a hat is definitely going to keep it on your head and it makes it really really flexible as far as sizes go it can fit a wide range of head sizes uh fatima says i love the fabric created by ribbing paired with squishy cables also the marled look created by holding two strands together provides endless options okay and this is where she did something super cool she used two different fingering weight yarns one of which was 90 percent cotton and 10 percent cashmere and the other one that was wool so not only was she mixing colors but she was mixing fibers which i think is really an interesting idea a you can mix those colors and what you can see she's done <laughs> it's over here is at the bottom there's one color mixed and then she brings in another color and honestly you could bring in as many different colors in that secondary yarn as you wanted and you can make like a fade effect you can do all kinds of fun things there's really interesting things you can do with marling and marling just means like those two strands twisted around each other which give you colors but the thing that really fascinated me about this hat was this idea that you can manipulate the hat and like how the hat wears using and mixing different fiber contents because cotton it's kind of rough making a cotton hat because cotton doesn't have a lot of memory and it tends to not really get the stretchiness that works real well on your head but cotton is great because it's a lighter fiber if you're trying to be not quite so hot so by mixing something that was primarily cotton with a yarn that's more wool the wool is going to give it that stretchiness and it's going to give it that memory so she's kind of compensating for the drawbacks of cotton while still having the benefits of cotton so i think it's a really great idea and a way to play with what you're looking for in your hat so love this hat love the cables it's fantastic it's called fresh is the feeling i'm sure there's a story <laughs> behind that particular name next love this this one so that second one well the first one i picked because it was a really cool way to deal with mini skeins or scraps which is something we have issues with the second one i thought also you could use scraps but also what i talked about about combining fibers this hat this hat is for your variegated yarns that aren't behaving she used wonderful techniques to really make things pop and play with variegated yarn, which can be a challenge. This is the Starburst hat by Karina Ferguson. And I'm pushing up so I get my uh, bifocals on. This is an Aran weight yarn, which is a heavier yarn. And um, I just realized that I have these <laughs> arranged slightly out of order. We have a worsted one next, but this is Aran. Aran's actually heavier than worsted. And she used fairway fiber spyglass which sounds like a lot of fun and she was really leaning into this really really bright 
color. And what she's done is she's used a smocking technique, which it's, it's about like sticking your needle through the fabric and pulling yarn through. And what it does is it distorts and buckles the fabric, but also it's pulling yarn from one place to another and it helps break up pooling. And it really, the movement of the stitches makes variegated really shine beautifully. So, and she said the starburst hat starts off with twist stitch cabling very cool that flows into a loop stitch smocking that makes the most of this fun and flashy variegated colorway so that's what we're looking at here super fun i love doing manipulative stitches and stitches that let you play especially in a small hat because this is a small project to let you play with a more complicated technique to keep that knitting interesting without the commitment of doing a complex technique over like an entire sweater. So this is super fun. Karina has gorgeous designs as always. This is Starburst Hat by Karina Ferguson. And our next one, this is the worsted weight one. I have them in the wrong order, but we are rolling with it. This is the Mellifera hat. And you know, I could not not include slip stitches. Y'all know my love of slip stitches, and this is a wonderful application of slipped stitches to make a fun hat. So this is worsted weight. So again, it's a slightly thicker yarn, and so it's gonna knit up super fast. It comes in sizes small, medium, and large. And so she says her finished dimensions, the circumference is 16.5, 18, and 19.5 inches. And she used, again, this worsted weight yarn. Color A, she used 80, 90, 100 yards. And color B, she used 40, 50, 60 yards. So you're not going to need a lot of yarn. She obviously used, this is another great application for a variegated colorway, but this looks like it could have even been maybe a self-striping yarn or at a bare minimum, a long color change yarn. It's got some really effects going on. I really enjoy it. It's, she says, the hat is worked from the bottom up in the round for a deeper hat, make the brim longer, which makes a lot of sense because trying to increase in the top part is going to be a challenge for you. This has great texture and it's just a, a fantastic slip stitch pattern. You've seen this slip stitch pattern before, I'm going to bet, but I really like it that she's made it in this larger yarn which gives it a lot more graphic effect and the texture uh in the garter portions of it and the slip stitch it's it's just i like it what am i gonna say i like it a lot it is a beautiful pattern and as you can see it has a matching cowl melifera melifera hat by erica sufka and then last <laughs> love Remember what I said about liking stitches that make you do a little extra work? So this one, I cannot tell you how much I love this hat. This is Frost Flower by Faye Kennington. And it is in bulky weight yarn. And it's on a size eight needle. <laughs> and I just love everything that is going on in this. You really need to click through on this one to see more pictures because the crown on this is amazing, but I thought this picture showed you this incredibly fun stitch the best. Now, what she says is this hat is all about this unique long bobble stitch that involves wrapping stitches over the previous work and working them together in a bunch for a stunning, almost floral texture. <laughs> it is so cool. And I want to get this pattern just so I can learn how to do this stitch. Again, it is in bulky yarn and the sizes available are, there are three. There's a small, medium, large, which you have an 18, an 18, and a 21 inch brim. 
and then where your changing sizes is in the height of it. So it's six and three quarters, eight and nine and a quarter inches depth. And one of the reasons why you're not seeing a lot of difference in that circumference is this is lace and lace stretches. This is one of those things you put it on your head, it's just gonna stretch and it's gonna be great. She did make a note Please note, this sample is size medium and was knit with one skein of the sample yarn and there were two yards left over. So if you're going to knit the large size, you're going to need two skeins. Definitely, you're going to need more yardage. Um, and if you're not, if you don't do a gauge squash and you're not directly on gauge, you might need two skeins for the medium size. But it's bulky yarn. This is going to knit up fast. It is gorgeous. And this frost stitch that she's done here is just, I mean, look at it. Look how cool it is. I I'm really curious how she does it. It is beautiful. So. That is Frost Flower by Faye Kennington. Okay, so I hope that I have convinced you that a fun thing to knit in August in the dog days of summer is a hat because uh, these are a lot of fun. It's something, some of them are challenging, some of them are easy. One of, you know, ways to use up variegated yarn, ways to use up mini skeins. I just had a lot of fun with these hats. And as I said, all of them were published this year. We've got uh, April of 2022, March of 2022, April of 2022, May of 2022, and February of 2022. So these are all brand new patterns for you to put in your queue and or cast on. Who doesn't love a fun hat? And hats are one of those things that you can always donate. If, you, if you're like, I have too many hats. It's one of, there's all kinds of charities that accept hats. And it's definitely something you can just put away in your stash. It's not gonna take up too much room. And if you have an emergency holiday gift kind of situation, you are ahead of the game. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, people love the fave fives. I really enjoy having different themes here. So if you have an idea for a theme, please let me know in the comments below. I do keep lists of it. I might not get to it immediately, but at one point it might grab my interest and we will talk about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.